fact. 2. I am the gorilla grower. Let's get serious. Always wear gloves. If you are going to gorilla growth, then you need to decide where you are going to grow. Some of you could grow 5 pound monsters, but don't try one of these monsters in a cornfield. They'll stick out of the corn like a pine tree. Not cool. There is a story about a couple of people who harvested 750 pounds in a soybean field. If you are able to grow outside, then look for a place to grow a monster. If possible, film your giant and join our biggest bud shoot. Show me your monsters. I want to see big, big, big. I want to know how big, big is. I have seen the plant touching the roof in the Upper Lakes Dispensary's greenhouse. It was 18 feet. At least, thanks, Ron. Using a metal stake as a measuring device, it will make your plants thrive. The metal will exchange ions with the earth and the atmosphere, and your plant will grow wild. If you have several plants, use several metals throughout your garden. Each metal does something a little different in the ion exchange. Collect a few small buckets. Fill each three quarters the way full, one with dandelions, one with yarrow, one with sting metal, one with cow manure. Add water, enough to cover your secret ingredients. Cover it with an old board or something. Let it brew. In a week or so, you will have the world's most potent organic fertilizer tea free. Each bucket will brew you up a different microorganism. Your plants will grow crazy. You can double your yield. It can be diluted to less than one gallon of tea to a thousand gallons of water and still be effective. I put one cup of each in my backpack sprayer with four gallons of water and a tablespoon of Super Thrive. I feed a couple weeks after transplanting. There are many videos showing you how to clone and grow what you do before you decide to buy is up to me so come see me and see how much thc you are going to end up with at the end of your growth if you decide to gorilla growth then i hope i can share a few tips with you the people that planted in the soybean field planted thousands of one foot clones the last week of July the first week of August, and what they ended up with, was a single just under an ounce bud, thousands of them. The buds started flowering the 15th of August so the clones did not get to foot tall. Our winters, bring us ice storms here. I look in woodlands, for where the grapevines have pulled down a circle of trees, and opened up an opening. Generally, the trees that toppled are still alive and usually make a good barrier, featuring man, and beast. If the blackberry plants are growing, then your plants will thrive. An army shovel, the fold-up, collapsible kind, they can be sharpened to a razor-sharp edge. A set of pocket-size pruners, a step-on tight bulb planter, a backpack sprayer, with a camo shirt on it, and super thrive, are the gorilla growers' weapons of choice. Grow big, or stay at home. When planting in the wild, always try to use cheap deer fencing, when at all possible. Bobcat urine works, you need to use it every two weeks, and garlic works the same way. You can plant, one foot tall clones, on April 1st, on a high south sloping hill in Ohio. If you plant lower in the valley, frost may get them. 12. Fully grown mothers. On February 1st, we'll keep you cloning 600 clones a week, up to the last week of August when you could stop. When planting your clones in the wild, cut the bottom out of your pot, and plant pot and all just under the surface of the soil. That way, you force the root system to grow down, and at the 6 inch deep level, there is a layer of moisture. The deeper you get your roots the more drought resistant your plants become. 
I like using the picnic flash party type of plastic cups. They come in about a half a dozen colors. And I take my bench grinder and grind three small holes in the bottom. Some people put small rocks in the bottom to keep the cup from being so top heavy. Just cut out the bottom of the cup and plant the cup. You will use it for a watering tube to get water down to the roots. The 18 ounce cups work perfect with a step on tight bulb planter. Be sure to mulch lightly around your plants. Too much mulch will keep rainwaters from getting to your plants. You can then use the cup to channel water deep to your roots. Your roots need to start out that six inches deep, and your plant needs to be a foot tall. By being a foot tall they are less susceptible to varmint attack. When transplanting, fill the hole you plan on planting in with your super thrived solution. Insert your plant when the water has receded, and your plant's new home will welcome your plant. If you are using a 16 ounce cup as a pot and a bulb planter, then use at least a 16 ounce cup of super thrived water. When transplanting, always use Super Thrive, and you will have 100% success rate. If you use Super Thrive on your seedlings as soon as they are 3 weeks old, you will increase the chances that you will end up with more females. If you wait till the 1st of July, watch the weather. For a big rain, you can run out in a cornfield before the rain and plant seeds a half inch deep, right beside the stalks of corn. A $20 hand seeder works perfect, and they do very well. They will get belly button high. Your need to go back and feed them three weeks after the rain, and be sure to use Super Thrive. Then go back every week to pull nails. Super Thrive is your secret weapon. The grower I know had to tie his plant down three times in the cornfield, and when he harvested it, it was sticking out again. One-foot clones are the goal. The game is to move as much plant and as little dirt as possible. Use a two-inch piece of PVC pipe. Wrap a strip of seven-inch wide piece of newspaper around the pipe, crimping the bottom inch in, creating a gorilla's combat cloning tube. Leave the crimped end loose, so the roots can get out. When you plant them, you can plant paper and all. This way the roots are guided to the 6 inch water level in the soil. Come see me, and I will keep teaching you. Come meet the whiz, and watch for the whiz's best picks. May your buds be the most potent. May you grow gorilla. I am the gorilla grower.